Hello, good morning everyone. This is Melanie from Light Beams Treasures and Curiosities. Today you notice different background. Um, actually in my living room right now. Um, this normally is a very clean room, but I'm going to show you how it's upside down right now in just a moment. But before I get to that, you know what to do if you like my content, if you like to see more videos, if you like to grow with me on my eBay journey and my small business journey, then you know what to do. Hit the like button, throw me a comment below, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget that little bell. Ding! So you are notified when I do more content. I actually have been doing content almost every day. So every day it's a new topic, new discussion, and new excitement in my world. So, as you can see, very different background. And you have to excuse me because I'm holding my phone. So the phone may be a little shaky. But I want to show you this collection. As you know, yesterday I did a sourcing video and I explained to you how I do my sourcing, that I mostly get garage sale um, leftovers, that um, I get a lot of um, estate sale leftovers, I'll get people that just bring stuff over as donations, I will actually go garbage picking down the curb when um, they get rid of stuff. Well, I had a friend stop by because she was cleaning out... Um, her kitchen from um, leftover estate sale that uh, she had from the passing of a relative. Well, she felt guilty. I mean, I feel so bad. She actually felt guilty that she was dropping this off as if she was doing a disservice to me. I am thrilled. I, I am actually so thrilled. This is like a kid in a candy store on Christmas. I am digging through everything. And although a lot of it, and she's fully aware of it, the the rule is what we're gonna do is I'm gonna source through everything, see what can be sold. Oh, I could see what I can use. <clears throat> Don't say that. <laughs> um, what can be sold, what could be donated, what could be potentially given at a garage sale, that sort of thing. And basically, we're going to work out a deal where I'm going to give her a percentage of the sales. I always do that. If um, if somebody, I mean, it's up to her. She just is so happy that she doesn't have this stuff to begin with. She wanted it out of the house, out of mind, out of sight. She was actually worried that with this arrangement, that anything I don't sell, I would have to give back to her. And I'm like, oh, no, no, no. This is you... Once you give this to me, it's gone. So I just want to show you what it is because today I'm actually going to be digging through it and see what happens. So let's turn this around and let's start getting, as you can see, bags and bags and bags and boxes and bags and boxes and all this stuff. Yes, all this stuff she, but I do want to point out because Right off the bat, a couple of pieces just stood out completely to me. And one of them, haha, <laughs> I'm actually happy because this this one is my treat. Look at this. Oh, it is a cast iron pan. Now let me tell you something. Okay, and it's it's a it's a big one too. Let me tell you about cast iron. Cast iron, oh let me put that down. Cast iron is definitely be on the lookout for. Those stuff will sell immediately, particularly if it's in beautiful condition like this. I mean, look at that baby, nice and shiny. However, guess what? Um, I have been aching for a cast iron pan that big for quite some time because all of my cast iron pans are tiny. So that's gonna be my reward for myself. And I already told her that. I'm like, I'm keeping that baby because I'm gonna be starting to make the cornbread and gravy and all kinds of delicious meals that my husband is trying to teach me with his southern um, cooking skills. And hopefully that baby will come in. Mm, I'm very happy with that. Um, this, this is actually interesting. I just want to show this. I want to do some research. There's no maker's mark or anything like that. Is this just a different colored glass? Or is this potentially jade? If that's jade, I mean, I don't think that's jade, but I'm curious about that because that is a very, very unique piece. And that wasn't bought um, recently. That has been on like her grandmother's shelf for ages. And then, oh, this, this I know is just gonna be a, a fun sell. It's a cock, but it's a Lazy Susan. So it's a, put that around, it's a spinning cock. 
Well, it would help if I can actually get it to spin. It's a spinning cock. But in here, there's lots of stuff. I mean, there's lots of like uh, baking pans. There's Pyrex. There's stoneware. I mean, look at this beautiful stoneware. Um, I'm going to do some research on uh, the maker and all that other stuff. So I haven't even begun to go through it. I mean, this is just, this stuff was stuff that was on top to begin with. But I am really excited. I am happy. And I'm hoping that this will be a good sale. In fact, ooh, take a look at this. This is just funny. It's one of the, here, jumbo George Foreman things. I mean, look at that. That could like, well, it needs a cleaning. But it's a, yep. George Foreman uh, extra large grill. There's a crock pot in there. It even has the um, directions. And look at this. This is just like fun stuff. All kitchenware. I mean, these alone. She was upset about the um, the lids. I says I could sell these lids just the way they are. So I'm sorry for giving you that roller coaster effect. So you tell me seriously. I mean, I just want to throw it out there. Me, I'm looking at this completely as hey i just hate christmas i mean this is some really good cookware there's some very unique pieces in here um i mean okay yeah the crock pot um not the crock, i'm sorry the um cast iron alone probably could have made a pretty penny for but i'm keeping that baby for myself because i understand how hard it is for me to get one of those so i am thrilled upon that but i figure i mean it's like okay i will piece some of the stuff out um, I will try it on local uh, Facebook Marketplace. I will try a couple of pe pieces on eBay, which I just have to be careful with uh, shipping and breakage and weight and all that other stuff. But mostly a lot of the stuff will be next garage sale that I have as soon as the town finally opens up. And then anything excess is going straight to the local church because I actually work at their thrift store and I'm constantly donating items to their thrift store, to their pantry, to their church. And being particularly now that the church is closed, it's so sad that they can't even congregate and actually have church services. My plan is I plan on making a huge donation after this is all over, especially since they are supposed to have their annual garage sale come May or June, which I'm keeping my fingers crossed that that is still on. But they, uh, they end up making a pretty penny during that garage sale because they only do it once a year. And I want to just get as much stuff in their garage sale as possible. So with that, everyone, question of the day. <gasps> do you do this? Would you accept these items? Would you try to sell it on your friend's behalf? Would you say, oh, no way and run far, far away? Would you take the chance? I'm just curious. I mean, basically, yes, you could see it sort of destroyed my living room a little bit. My husband will flip out. However, he also knows that I'm going to start going through each and everything, and I'm going to start sorting and cleaning and getting through it. You tell me. Well, until next time, this is Melanie with Lightbeam's Treasures and Curiosities, bringing you one of my first show and tell videos. I guess I could call this part of the soy pod challenge, except this isn't necessarily my death pile because I just received this pile yesterday. So this is all new inventory for me. Can't wait to put it up. I held off on putting my uh, death pile on the side for a little bit because I'm going to concentrate on this. And then when I'm done, I'll go right back to my death pile. Until next time, everyone, good luck with your sales. Good luck with eBay. And I would love to hear your journey as well. Take care.